Hey guys, today we're in South Georgia with Luke Martin and we're going to do a little pig eradication today, but we're going to do it a little different. Uh, we're going to do it spot and stalk style with a bow. You guys stick with us. Guys, down here in South Georgia, overpopulation of these pigs is a huge problem, as it is in other southern parts of the United States. But we're down here in South Georgia today, and we're going to do our best to uh, try to relieve a little bit of the pressure from these pigs. Uh, they cause tremendous amount of damage to crops. Not only crops, personal property, they're out in the fields and they get in your yards and they root up the yards. And if you just look through some of the video here as we're hunting, you'll see the damage that they cause. But uh, let's jump right into it with uh, Luke Martin and his buddy Mike, and we're going to see what they can get done. Perfect shot. Well guys, they made an awesome shot on this pig. And before they can even go over and do the recovery, another pig has stepped out and uh, they're gonna take it out as well. Oh man, she doesn't. Where's it at? Oh, okay. As soon as it gets out. I see it. I see it in the camera now. How long? What you aim at? Right above the leg. Right. 20 yards above the leg. I ain't got it yet. I ain't got it yet. Behind the tree. Georgia on a hog hunt spot and, spot and stalk in Georgia there's 
there's a bunch of bunch of hogs here and we're just trying to take a few off just fun have fun we've been chasing deer for four months now so it's it's nice to actually get on the ground and put boots to the ground and actually do some hunting but uh y'all stay with us you're watching trophy room ventures now guys i'm telling you this place is absolutely covered up with pigs they've shot two here they're doing an interview they look up and two more pigs are coming straight at them these pigs come within four yards of them before they spot them and turn around and take off. That's what I call close. Four yards, I mean, where's my knife? Well, let's jump right back in action here with Mike as they get on another group of hogs here in South Georgia. I want to apologize a little bit for the shaky video here. Uh, spot and stalk, especially with a bow, is a tough thing to do. And uh, it's a little hard to carry a tripod around with you, so all the video in today's show was videoed freehand by these guys. So given that, I think they did a pretty good job. Now Luke's not only videoing here freehand, he's also ranging these pigs and calling out the range for Mike. Perfect shot. 43 yards, baby. 43 yards. You put it in the bowl room. <laughs> you know, guys, Mike, he made an awesome shot here at 43 yards, and these guys are absolutely having a ball in Georgia. This is Mike. We're down in Georgia. We're doing some hog eradication down here. We put about a 200 yard stalk on three pigs and this one gave me an opportunity. Smallest one of the bunch, but at 43 yards, put it down, put it down. Well, now we're back with Luke, it's his turn. 
and he's got a pig out here in the field and he's uh, trying to stalk up on it and get close enough and he ends up making an awesome shot on this pig. But you guys check out the field around this pig and check out what this pig's doing. He's got his nose to the ground and he is absolutely rooting this field to pieces. Look at all the damage that this pig has caused. That's why we need to control the population and that's why we're down here in Georgia today. One right in front of that palm tree now. stock on this pig probably 150 yard stock and the closest we could get is about 40 yards when I ranged her for a shot she was about 41 and pulled back and I made a perfect heart shot now vitals on the pigs pretty small and Mike made a shot at 43 two days ago and it was a heart shot but I mean the vitals on these pigs are really small you hit back here you're hitting guts but uh it's been a fun hunt. This is our last day of our hunt. We're going home tomorrow. So uh, y'all stay with us. We'll see if we can get another one down today. If not, it'll be the end of it. But y'all stay with us. You're watching Trophy Room Adventures. Now, as y'all heard Luke say, this is their last day in Georgia. They've had a ball down here this week, but they're not going to give up yet. They've got a little time left, and they're going to try to get one more pig on the ground before they have to head out. Now Luke, he's got these pigs out in the field and there's absolutely no cover between him and these pigs. Uh, he finally starts stalking in a little bit and as the pigs work around, he is able to get one little palmetto in between him and the pigs and he just keeps inching ever so close, ever so close, trying to get close enough for a shot on these pigs.
All right, guys, I want to take just a moment here to talk about a new product we're going to be using this year on Trophy Room Adventures. It's the all new Glory Knot from Double Take Archery. This little knot, guys, is really amazing. I'm going to show you here in just a minute an example how it works. With this knot, guys, you don't have any pre light ups anymore because it's totally reversed and there's no tools required, no sharp knives or anything to turn it on or off. Very simple product, guys. So I'm going to open it up here, show you on the bowstring just how simple it really is. These guys has got it going on and it's just a great setup for us and we're really liking it this year. And we've got red is what we've got. It's the same, kind of the same setup. I don't know if you can see that guys. It's got a little red button on the side. That's your, that's to turn it on and off with after it comes on. So we're gonna show you how it works. We've got a little pressure switch in the inside. So you put it on your bowstring. I'm just gonna use the side of my hero commander here from Martin Archery. Just put it on the side. Okay, now we're knocked. Once it released the string, once you see the air come loose, it lights up. So it's totally backwards. So you don't have any more in the blind pushing your knock on too hard just before daylight or in the tree. So that is really cool because all of us has had that happen in the woods before I know I have. I slid my air on and knocked it. And when I knocked it, it lit up. And now I'm sitting there before daylight with my pocket knife trying to get it to turn off. But this is very simple. Now I'm gonna show you how this thing turns off. It's this simple. Push it back on your string, guys. Mash the red button, and there you have it. Pretty simple. Check them out, guys, at Glory Knot. Look them up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or whatever their website as well. So it's a great product. I think you'll be impressed with it. Give them a shot. Well, guys, it just didn't work out. Uh, he never did actually get close enough to get a good shot on these pigs, but they didn't give up. They stayed with it. And right here, as daylight was fading on their last day, they get one more chance at a couple hogs. Now guys, y'all take a look at this here. Uh, this is a 53 yard shot. Luke's using a, a very fast bow and he's practiced. Uh, he's, he feels very confident at this shot and he's let this thing fly at 53 yards. Take a note here on the impact, just how big of a hole this executioner broadhead puts in this pig on the entrance side. Uh, as he spins around, you can see the exit and it's just as big. Well guys, as y'all can see, we have uh, tried to thin out the population a little bit here in South Georgia this week. Uh, all these pigs were harvested and they were all dressed and brought home and Luke's enjoying them right now as we speak probably. But anyhow, uh, guys, it's very important uh, to control the population of these pigs. They make such an awful mess out of the fields and people's yards even. I mean, there's people's yards that look as tore up as that field did. So. You know, if you get a chance to go on a pig hunt, you're not only doing it for the meat, it's going to be an awesome time and you're going to help out the neighbors around the area also. We want to thank everybody for watching. We want to thank all of our fine sponsors. Without all you guys, none of this would be possible. And we want to invite you guys to come along with us on these adventures. You're welcome to go with us anywhere we may be going. Just contact us, find out where we're headed, Find out what we're going to be doing, and if you guys want to tag along, be part of the show, you are more than welcome. Now, you can check us out at www.trophyroomadventures.com, or you can check us out on Facebook at Trophy Room Adventures TV. We, we put a lot of stuff on there, lots of trail cam pictures of the bucks we have in Ohio. If you want to come hunt a trophy whitetail with us on our properties, that'd be awesome. Also, all the pricing information is on the website. Just check it out. If you want to be part of Team TRA, all you got to do is get in contact with us and we can make it happen. 
So thank you guys for watching again, and we'll see y'all next week. Part of the United States, I don't know if you... <clears throat> You know, an overpopulation of pigs, that is a real problem down in the southern part. <clears throat> Get an awesome shot here at 43 yards. The pig didn't go hardly anywhere. And uh, <clears throat> look at the, <clears throat> uh, look how far away this deer is, this deer. <clears throat> That's what we really do. That's what we're. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's a great shot. I loved it. It was fun watching it on video. I had to lean against a tree, otherwise I knew I'd move too much. So guys, once again, we appreciate you watching. We'll be back next week. We thank you, and uh, hasta la vista. <laughs>